Welcome, I'm Warren Miller. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing with Paradise Energy Solutions. And I'm here today with Brad Fox, who's the branch manager of our Maryland branch, as well as the project manager on this particular project here in Bridgeville, Delaware. How are you, Brad? Doing well, Warren, how are you? Great, thank you. Good. Thank you for giving us this tour today. Good to be here. Thank you. We're gonna be looking at the uh, installation of, a, poultry, of a, a solar system on a poultry farm. And Brad's going to walk us through the process of how this uh, project was designed and how, and how the installation's going and uh, what's going to happen from here. So tomorrow, Delmarva Power is coming out to help us hook up this solar system to the utility grid. Correct. How is that going to happen, Brad? Sure. So Delmar Delmarva Power is going to be out here tomorrow morning and we're going to do the interconnection. They're going to come out here. They're going to turn off the electric totally. So there's going to be a power outage here for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, so what we're going to do here, this is a 600 amp disconnect switch. So we're going to land our wires in here, go back through this conduit here into a transfer switch, which is on the opposite side of the wall, and do our interconnection in there. So the interconnection will be completed. Uh, from here, we're going to actually, there's a yellow flag here marking out where the bore is going to happen this weekend. There's going to be two four inch conduits going underneath the chicken houses to the AC combiner panel, which is over by the solar array. Great. So this particular component over here is a shutoff switch for in case of an emergency, correct? That is correct, yes. This is a solar disconnect which uh, shuts off the power to the solar system. Uh, it needs to, code requires us to have it within 10 feet of the utility meter, which is right here. Uh, that way in the event of a fire, they can come out, the first responders can come out, pull the meter, and turn off the solar. So this is an, if you're new, a, a new solar ho owner, whether you're a, a farmer or a business owner or a homeowner, this is an important piece of equipment to know where it is and know what it does. It is, yes. I always make sure our customers know what this func the functionality of it is and where it is located. Excellent. So once you hook up the uh, utility to here, you're going to bore underground underneath the chicken houses and the connection is going to come up near the solar array? That is correct. Why don't we yes. walk over there and take a look at the solar? Sure. So once the customer decides that, yes, he'd like to move forward with solar, how do you know what's how big to make the solar system? Great question. So what we do, we look at the customer's 12-month average of his uh, electric consumption, and we base the size of the solar system on that consumption. We want to get to as close to 100% as possible. So in this particular case, he's going to produce 127,000 kilowatt hours a year, and that is about 98% of his current electrical usage. Great. So you're saying that the solar array is going to create almost all the electricity that he needs to run both of these chicken houses in a one-year period. That is correct. And there's going to be months, actually, Warren, where the solar system produces over of what he's using and that excess electricity will go and power his personal residence. Uh, that's fantastic. What happens, Brad, if it's a really cloudy year or a year with the poor weather or several years of cloudy weather? Yep, we get asked that question a lot. So what happens in a bad year, a bad solar year, uh, if it doesn't meet his production guarantee, that 127,000 kilowatt hours, we would actually pay him the difference. So the customer has really no risk and he's pretty much guaranteed that production, regardless of the weather. Great, so that's almost a risk-free investment. He knows that the system is gonna produce what we say it will, or he'll be compensated for that. That is correct. So once he's decided that this investment makes sense for his poultry farm, what's the next step in designing or engineering this project? As a project manager, after, the, after a system is signed, uh, as a project manager, I would reach out to him, I would schedule a site visit where I would come out here, uh, take voltage readings, take pictures, do a shade analysis, and gather all the information needed, and then send that uh, via a project design request form to our internal engineering team. And then they would create one lines, layouts, and do a really detailed system uh, design. Excellent. And so this particular project, the solar panels are on the ground. Yep. Um, as opposed to being on the roof of the chicken houses. Why is that? Uh, in this particular case, the customer preferred them to be on the ground due to the age of his roof, and he just wanted that as a preference, and it worked out well because there was room here uh, for the panels and there was no shade, so uh, perfect scenario. Excellent, but if he wanted to put it on the roof, that would have been an option had the roof it, been uh, 
new or and able to support that is, it. Yes, that is correct. There, in this case, actually, the chicken houses are facing south. The roofs are facing south, so that would have been an option here, but he preferred them to be on the ground. Great. Excellent. So as we walk over to this array over here, when you arrive on site for the first time, uh, or the day one of installing the project, how do you know when you have this clean slate of open land where to start? How do you lay out the project so that it looks streamlined and well laid out as this solar array does? So the very first thing that I would do when we get on site on the first day is introduce the customer to the install team. Those are the guys who are actually doing the installation. We would go over the location of where the solar system is going, confirm everything. We would do another shade analysis and make sure the customer is in agreement with where the solar is going to be. And then uh, we would we have a uh, design packet from the mag the racking manufacturer, and that gives us all the details how po how deep the posts need to go, the spacing of the posts, and so we string a line and we use uh, that to make them nice and straight and uh, level everything. Great. And then how do you know or how what angle is this and why is it in an angle? This is at 25 degrees, and that is uh, 25 degrees because of the location where we're at here uh, in relation to the sun. Okay, great. So the first thing you do is you put these metal posts into the ground. Yep. How do you do that? How do you get them in there? How so deep they, are they? Yep, so those are 13-foot posts. They're a standard 6 by 9 I-beam, and they get pile-driven into the ground 9 feet. Okay, so there's wow. no concreting involved. They go down 9 feet. There's about 4 feet exposed here, as you can see, on the back of the array. And uh, so no concreting is involved, it's very clean. So if I lean on this, it's not going to fall over? It is over. not going to it's, fall it's over. It's a pretty solid. Yes, it is made to withstand, uh, every system is different, but is it, it is made to withstand up to 120 mile an hour winds, which is the equivalent to a category two hurricane. Excellent, and I assume it can uh, handle the snow load? Yes, it can, yes. It's made to withstand uh, any kind of snow load, I think 50 pounds per square foot in this particular situation. Excellent, so you, you, you get the pound, you get the, post into the ground and you attach the panels to it. How many panels are there? There are 300 panels total in this system. There's two arrays and each array has 150 panels on it. Uh -huh. So there's 300 panels. So yes. these three panels will create enough electricity to power both the chicken houses. Um, obviously it's great for the environment, yes. but big picture long term as a poultry farmer, how much is this poultry farmer looking to save, say, over 30 years by going solar? He is going to save close to $600,000 over the next 30 years, assuming the uh, electric rates go up about 2% a year. So wow. $600,000 over 30 years, and I think he's looking at a savings of $16,000 this year. Wow, wow, that's great. Over a half a million dollars in savings over a 30-year period by going solar. That is correct. So. These solar panels now, they're out in the sun, they're creating electricity, correct? Yes. And so this project's not complete yet, but the electricity will flow from the pan well, the panels will be in the sunlight, collecting, ele creating electricity, and where would it go from here? Right, so when the sunlight hits the panel, the panels produce DC current. Okay. The DC current then flows to the inverters, and the inverters are kind of like the brains of the system. We have 13 inverters here, they're SMA inverters. And uh, these inverters change the DC current into AC current. So the first six inverters here on this particular system are uh, flowing in from these 150 panels back here. And then we come underground from that array, underground here to a trough, which is over here. And then the wires go to each individual inverter from there. And then these remaining seven inverters would be for the front array here. Great. So the panels are all hooked up together, and then the wire will go to the inverter, yep. which converts it to the alternating current, Yes. and then it will go from the inverters to where? Yep, so it'll go from the inverters, and this project is still being installed, but the there will be conduit installed underneath the inverters, uh, and the wire in that conduit will be an AC, and it will flow to the end of this array, where we will mount an AC combiner panel, uh, and that combines all the strings of the panels into larger some larger conduit or larger conductors and then from there it would go back underground over to the disconnect where we were at earlier. Excellent, great. And when do you expect to finish this particular project? This project will be completed uh, middle next week. And how long does it take you to install a project this size, a 99KW system? This 99KW system will take us about two to three weeks. Two to three weeks to install. Yep. And if you had a, a home, or a, uh, how long would it take you to install a residential system? 
Good. Uh, an average residential uh, system would take about three days. Excellent. Thank you, Brad. We appreciate the Thank information. You. Very informative. If you have a farm or a business or a home and you're looking to install solar or just learn more about solar, please reach out to us. Go to paradiseenergy.com. We'd love to help you. Thank you.